welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to vlogmas episode three so i am in front of the christmas tree i've got a very nice christmasy setup here and i am going to start wrapping some presents so i thought it would be a good way to start off this vlogmas episode it is currently tuesday the 12th of december I have finished almost all of my Christmas shopping. I think I'm waiting for one more thing to arrive and I've got to go and purchase something else and then I am done. I bought everybody's presents. So I'm pretty pleased with myself to be done this early, but I always like to do it early. I always start around Black Friday, make the most of all the deals and then I'm normally done pretty quickly after that. So I thought this would be a nice way to start the vlog. I didn't do anything yesterday apart from film and we had our boiler serviced, so that wasn't very interesting. But Christmas wrapping today will be fun and then tomorrow I am going to London to finish off my Christmas shopping, so I'll obviously take you with me there. I've got my Christmassy jumper on. This is from a brand that I cannot remember the name of, but I will obviously link it down below. And there was a very similar one that I saw recently on the H&M website. I think it's so nice and it's like a subtle Christmas jumper rather than anything too like tacky. I also thought this would be really nice to take with me for skiing as well. But anyway, I have most of the presents here with me. I have told all of my family members not to watch my Vlogmas so I can show you guys the gifts and stuff that I've bought them. So hopefully they stick to it. If they don't, then they're just ruining it for themselves. Anyway, I've got lots of presents here to wrap up and the wrapping that we've gone for this year is this nice like forest green colour. Also got some like plain brown as well. And then I just got this black velvet ribbon from Amazon to put on them. Nice and simple. We like to keep it pretty much all the same if we can. So everything looks the same under the tree until people start bringing in their own presents. And it just messes everything up. Anyway, I am going to start. I'll talk you through some of the gifts as I'm going through them if I think that they are particularly good ones. I'm going to put Christmas film on as well in the background so I've got that to watch. I would like a nice glass of like maybe a red wine or something but it is half past two on a Tuesday afternoon so no red wine. I've just gone for a ice cold glass of Diet Coke instead. However in two weeks time the fact that it's half two on a Tuesday will not be stopping me from having a drink because it'll be boxing day then so very exciting let's kick it off with some presents these are some bits i think in here for my mum yes these are all her stocking bits in here so i'm going to do them first i'm going to do these in just the brown paper because i don't put like ribbons or anything on stocking presents so let's start with them first i'm so excited to finally wrap the presents up because i have nowhere to put them so I've been like shoving them in random corners of the house, hoping that nobody sees them. So at least once they're wrapped, I can kind of leave them out a little bit more. So lots of nice stocking presents in here. Some coffee spoons from Nespresso. She already has a few of these that I bought last year, but I thought I'd get her some more. So there's like a full set. Lovely bracelet in here from Joma Jewelry. They're great for like little stocking gifts. Lots of cute things, which I already showed on my vlogmas actually from the white company small little bits some makeup that she wanted socks of course and one of her favorite perfumes so i think that should be enough oh also i got this from the white company which i thought was so cute so i'm gonna pop that in her stocking as well and then i have cards here that i need to write at some point but I'm gonna get through as much of this as I can, but I only have this much sellotape and I can't find any more. Hopefully this will get me quite far. It doesn't look like a lot. I don't know where the rest of it is kept and I don't wanna go snooping in case I find any of my presents. So we shall see how far I get with that. presents are all done that was fairly easy because like I said I just did them in the plain brown paper I'm going to pop them all back in this bag I've got the cards in here as well that I need to write at some point 
And now I've got a big old box of stuff to wrap properly with the ribbons and everything for my mum, my dad, Tom. So leave those over there, that's that done. Got a few things for my mum here. I got her lovely cow shared candle. It says with notes of rose, cinnamon, and clove. It's a really nice big size as well. I've got her Ugg slippers and a pair. I managed to get her a pair of the antelope Uggs, which is very exciting. A diffuser from Jo Malone because it's not Christmas without a little something from Jo Malone. I've got some things for my dad here. I got him a wine thermometer because he loves red wine i got him this book as well which is such a good idea it's called dear dad from you to me and it basically just asks loads of like questions your dad i think you can get them for your mum as well or maybe grandparents as well and they just fill it out with like memories stuff about their childhood that you might not know and it's just such a nice thing to keep also got my dad this oops this top from reese which i think he'll like really nice colour. I got this in Bista Village so it was a great price as well. This big old present here is for my mum. You can see what it is. It's on the side. Faux olive tree. I got this from a brand called Contempi. I'm not going to open it though because... Should I open it and see what it looks like? No, I'm just going to leave it like this and wrap it up in this big box and then she can open it and see what she thinks. A few other things in here. I got Tom a Soho Home dressing gown so i've got that in here i've got him some soho skin stuff and some hyaluronic acid from the ordinary because he wanted this bless him he's so into his skincare and then i got the soho home dressing gown in navy i also got his initials embroidered on it which i thought was a really nice touch you guys know how much i wear my soho home dressing gown so it was only right i got him one as well so i'm going to try with what little sellotape i have left to wrap up as many of these as possible and i'm going to use the green paper the nice green paper this by the way was from sainsbury's i was going to buy it from the white company but it was so much more expensive and this is basically the same and i actually prefer this because the one from the white company had has like a little bit of a shine to it it's a bit metallic-y so i thought this was nicer because it's more matte right let's get going see how much I can do before everybody arrives and walks in on me surrounded by all their Christmas presents. <laughs> to wrap up Mabel's presents too at some point. I've ordered her a new equa fleece. She's got a few toys as well, but I ordered her an equa fleece as like her main present. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? I'm running low, obviously on sellotape, but I'm also running low on ribbon. I only had two of these. I've already used one on three presents. So I think I'm gonna have to just wrap them up with the paper and add the ribbon when more arrive. Maybe. Thank you for my kisses, thank you. Right, are you gonna help? So that is most of my wrapping done. I have wrapped everything, but I need to wait for the rest of the ribbon to arrive to finish it off. I also ordered some like little cinnamon sticks, which I think I'm gonna to tie to some of the presents. And I forgot about tags as well. So I need some tags to put on everything because at the moment they've just got post-it notes stuck to them saying what they are. So I didn't get them all mixed up. So I'll either finish off the wrapping at the end of this week or I'll include it in next week's vlog. But I am exhausted after that. It really hurts my back as well sitting on the floor doing it. I probably should have sat at the table but oh well i'm just going to enjoy the christmas that's in this room for about half an hour or so i've got a reel to edit that i filmed earlier today so i'm going to do that on the sofa and in front of the lovely fire 
my mum did this garland actually over the weekend and I think it looks so pretty around the fire. She did such a good job. She bought the artificial foliage from Sainsbury's, I think. She just bought two and like tied them together. And then we had this like artificial stuff from, I don't know what that was from, but she cut that and stuck that in and then put some lights around it. And I think these cowbells she also got from Sainsbury's as well. But I just think it looks so nice around the fire. Really different. And then obviously we've got our tree in the corner which i'm obsessed with i love 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 this tree i think it's one of my favorites we've ever done so yeah i'm in my christmasy jumper which by the way has molted everywhere i've got to now hoover the whole house because little balls of gray fluff have come off and also check out my leggings so love this jumper but fluff everywhere so not ideal anyway like i said i'm popping into london tomorrow I'm going to go nice and early to hopefully avoid the crowds. I'm thinking Wednesday morning, get there for like 9 o'clock. I know Selfridges opens at 9 and I think Celine, which is where I need to go, opens at 10. And I really wanted to get a Ralph's hot chocolate as well and Southside Ralph's, but I know that gets so, so busy. So I'm thinking get there for 10 when it opens and hopefully I'll be able to nab a seat outside i just need to pick up one thing for my mum from celine which i've tried to order online about seven or eight times using every single card credit card paypal each time i try and do it it won't let me order it so i thought i'm just gonna have to go to the store to buy it that is the last present that i need to buy and then i have to come home wrap that up and then we're getting really organized i've still got a whole week next week because christmas falls on a monday i feel like normally when christmas is like towards the end of the week you're like rushing to get everything done but we have got a whole week so it'll be nice just to be able to wind down a little bit hopefully good morning it is oh what's going on there it is very early it's Wednesday morning and you can probably tell it's still dark outside but I am ready to leave for my train to London now. I'm wrapped up all cosy, got my Marant hat on, Cos t-shirt, this fur coat which I'm obsessed with from Oakham Fort, my everyday weekday row jeans and my Adidas specials and I am ready to head into London for a nice day of shopping. I'm gonna have a little mooch around the shops. I'm gonna get to Selfridges for when it opens and then I'm gonna head down New Bond Street and see all like the pretty window displays and the outside of the shops and stuff because it just looks gorgeous this time of year. Maybe get myself a little hot chocolate and then head home. So should be a nice morning and yeah, I need to leave. gown and hair up as soon as I walk through the front door you guys know the drill I'm slightly annoyed that I missed that earlier train because I'm now so cold from sitting and waiting in the train station like cold to the bone <laughs> but it would have meant that I would have had to literally run the whole way because I was about four minutes late so I would have literally had to run the whole way and I just wasn't in the mood for running I didn't want to rush and I didn't really need to rush, but I got what I needed. Let me go and get it, actually. So I was the only one in Celine, the first one, I think, because I was there so early. So I got to have a nice look around. I got exactly what I wanted, and they gave me a nice gold 
bag, which I didn't realise they did at Christmas, but I thought that was quite nice. So I ended up getting the Grand Lise candle, which was really nice. I don't know if it says the notes on it, it doesn't. But it's a nice kind of like deep musky smell. And then I also picked up the lid to go with it. So mum's got both of them. I think that will look quite nice in her living room. And it's a nice special gift. That's probably her main present. We always like to do a main gift. So that will be her, her main present to open on Christmas day. I think I'm gonna wrap the two back up and then stick them back in this bag to put under the tree but another thing that i just want to show you guys and update you on is this and if you haven't watched my previous vlogs you may not know but my dyson air wrap which i had had for about three years had been overheating for a few months I was cleaning the filter religiously, I contacted Dyson, tried all the troubleshooting that they recommended. I have since seen a couple of TikToks of how to like take apart the filter and clean it properly, which I didn't know until I'd already sent it back to, to them for repair. But I basically contacted them and said, nothing works, it's only three years old, you know, it just keeps cutting out as soon as I use it. They said, okay, send it back for repair or we'll see if we can repair it. Sending it back was very, very difficult. Three times I had to organize for it to be collected. They wouldn't let me post it anywhere. They had to come to my address to collect it. So I waited in two days, nobody came. I was then on holiday. So I had to organize it for when I got back from holiday. And then finally on the third time, somebody did actually arrive to collect it. They had it for maybe about a week and then emailed me and said, your machine's beyond repair, we'll contact you with a solution, like we can't repair it. Never heard anything from them, so I emailed them or like live chatted them on their website and said, look, you've told me you can't repair my machine. You've not sent it back. I've not heard anything from you. And then basically they said, oh, well, we don't have any further information for you. We can't tell you why your machine hasn't been sent back. We can't tell you why we can't repair it. Basically, no idea what's going on. So by this point, as you can imagine, I was rather annoyed because it's a really expensive machine. It's 500 pounds, give or take. I was using mine pretty much every day. It's a hairdryer as well, so I didn't even have a hairdryer. I was having to use my mum's and my boyfriend's all the time. And then, yeah, I rung them and I said, you know, you've told me you'd contact me with a solution, you haven't. You can't tell me where my machine is, why it's not been sent back to me, if it will be sent back to me, why you can't repair it. Because I said, even if you can't repair it, the product must be faulty because it's only three years old. So, you know, it, sh it shouldn't be broken beyond repair after three years, not for anything that expensive anyway. They then told me, actually, it was a mistake that they'd emailed me and told me that they couldn't fix it and they were actually just waiting on a part for it. So by this point, I was quite exhausted, so this is a really long-winded story. Skip past it if you're not interested. Yeah, I rang again and said, I still had no update. I was on hold for about 20 minutes and then they cut the phone line and whoever it was just hung up on me. I think they were probably fed up with me shouting and getting annoyed. I then rang back again and asked if I could make a formal complaint about the service they then told me they don't have a complaints department which i find hard to believe i'm pretty sure dyson has a complaints department i asked to speak to managers superiors they just wouldn't let me and then they said what we can do is offer you a refurbished machine but you will have to pay a hundred pounds for it because it's not in warranty i said okay but you you've told me that my machine isn't beyond repair and you said that by mistake so why would i pay a hundred pound for a new one not even a new one, a refurbished one. So I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. They then said that somebody would be in contact within 24 hours to tell me what was going on. They never were. So basically I rung them on Monday morning of this week and just kind of went berserk, threatened to go to the ombudsman, threatened to take it further, explained an experience that I've had with Apple, which is a huge company, obviously. I said my watch broke or was broken, took it in there for repair. Within two days, they sent me out a brand new one. 
even though it wasn't in warranty and i just said you know why can't a company like dyson do the same thing bear in mind they've had my machine now for nearly two months and basically i just went berserk and lo and behold next day delivery brand new air app sent out <laughs> with a two-year warranty so at the time i was extremely frustrated with how many times i was having to contact them and ring them and how much time it was taking up but it just shows you if you want something done just be persistent because eventually these big companies will give in i hope anyway from my experience they have because i literally spoke to someone on monday morning and just went berserk and explained everything and said you've not tried to contact me once and he was like okay because this has been such a nightmare for you we're going to send you out a brand new one on next day delivery and he did say the only thing is it won't have a guarantee but i got an email yesterday saying here's your two-year guarantee i'm very very pleased to have this back i haven't used it yet but it is the new one because you may remember mine was a copper one because i'd had it three years it still had the two barrels for each side this one's obviously got the new ones where you just click the arrows in place it's got the new smoothing attachment uh, it's a beautiful color mine was more of like an orangey copper and the like barrel itself was matte this is shiny and this is more of like a goldy copper color which i actually really prefer so tomorrow i'm probably going to try this out for the first time and i'm so excited because i haven't managed to use it on my shorter hair yet this will be my first time styling my shorter hair with the air wrap so i'm gonna give it a go in tomorrow's part of the vlog but i am so happy to have one of these back you guys know how much i loved my air app i've loved it ever since i first had it i've used it so often i've always spoke so highly of it i would really reconsider if you want to purchase one of these if you are prepared to go through the hassle should something go wrong and it need a repair because quite honestly it made me never want to purchase anything from dyson again because their customer service was so so dreadful it all worked out in the end so i am pleased about that i'll be using this in tomorrow's part of the vlog i feel like this vlogmas is going to be so long because i've just chatted for ages i chatted for ages yesterday and we've still got the weekend to come but oh well hopefully you enjoy it so same spot next morning i'm going to try out the new air wrap for the first time i might turn these lights off actually because they're a bit distracting by my head there we go that's better i know it's a bit dark but it's less distracting with the lights off so air wraps here i'm excited to use it this blow dry is different i don't really know how to use this because it was just a normal like hair dryer head on my one and there's lots of different arrows and stuff so it's a little confusing but I'm just going to give it a go, blast my hair. I'm going to blast it to probably around 90% dry. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a curl, hopefully, just putting some heat protection on. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> so your hair is about 90% dry and I'm going to use the thin barrel. So obviously they have the arrows on either side rather than two separate ones like my old air wrap had. And these ones are for the long hair. I only have the shorter ones on mine. I could never seem to get hold of the long ones. So I just put up with the, the short ones for ages. But I'm excited to try this. So let's put it on the right side and give it a go. Not sure how it's gonna turn out. Obviously my hair's a lot shorter now than the last time I used this. There we go. So I'm hoping that this will kind of come out like a big voluminous blow dry. So let's speed it up. I honestly wish that I disliked the air wrap because of the hassle of getting it repaired. You cannot get this kind of blow dry with any other tool with a like a curling iron i haven't tried the shark i don't know what it's called it's a shark tool that kind of looks like the air app with all the attachments i haven't tried that so that may give a similar effect for a more affordable price but no straightener no curling iron that i have tried can get me this sort of volume and this kind of blow dry so if you are going to buy one off my recommendation just be prepared 
And if it does go wrong, they'll be useless at trying to sort it out for you. But yeah, super happy with this and I am pleased to have it back. So I am just trying on some looks for some filming that I'm doing for Reserved and I wanted to show you this outfit because I think it makes such a nice Christmas day outfit. It might be too late to order by the time I post this vlog. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort out the top part here. Yeah, it might be too late to order for Christmas day by the time this vlog goes up, but like New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, anything festive that you have coming up, this would be perfect for. It's so beautiful. This jumper, I adore. It's just like a really nice ruched off the shoulder and then a pleated skirt to go with, silver, accessories i just think it's such a nice classy look so i wanted to show you guys it will probably be on my instagram as well with some other reserved looks but i just thought this one was so special also just had to share this look as well really beautiful all black outfit plain black turtleneck which is really really soft it's only 19.99 so such a good price and really really soft good quality and then this beautiful like A-line swooshy skirt, elasticated waist as well, so comfy if you're eating a big Christmas dinner. And then these beautiful paint and sling back heels with a really chunky sole, not sole, heel. So super comfy, really, really nice. And then a cute little velvet bag as well. But how nice are these looks from Reserved? Really gorgeous, one of them actually could be a potential Christmas day outfit for me, I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see. So my weekend actually ended up being quite busy and I didn't really have time to vlog a lot of it and we were spending time with family and stuff so I do have a few clips that I'm going to insert to finish this vlog. We had a really cosy Friday night in, went for a nice walk Saturday and then we went for a lovely meal at one of our favourite places called The Priory and it was all Christmas and festive so I'll insert the clips of that now but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Vlogmas episode 3. If you did, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you could subscribe. And I'll see you all in next week's Vlogmas.